Greetings everybody, I'm Daniel Cox coming to you from the shores of Hudson Bay in Churchill, Manitoba, specifically due to the generosity of the great folks at Frontiers North Adventures who have allowed Polar Bears International doing webcasts and broadcasts from Buggy One, which is a tundra buggy that Frontiers North has, has basically uh, donated to PBI so we could do some of our outreach. And today I experienced kind of a unique situation with with a, a red fox that we found and it's part of the uh, changes that I'm seeing here in the Arctic. Over the last 10 years we've seen numerous red fox and it's interesting to see this this change where we're seeing more of these red fox and what happened today was a red fox that apparently had killed a Arctic fox. Here in the Churchill region we're on the edge of the Arctic fox habitat and the red fox are moving into these areas and today we photographed a situation where a red fox was actually feeding on this little arctic fox. It's tough to watch, it's tough to look at, but it is part of the changes that we're seeing here in the arctic. The arctic fox that was killed, his habitat is now in an area that's basically the subarctic. Um, it's not really truly the arctic here in Churchill. We're on the edge of his habitat. Uh, as the climate warms, animals are starting to move further north and in this situation it seems as though red fox are starting to spend more time in this area, develop their dens, have their babies and when they do that they're considerably larger than the arctic fox uh, they will take the arctic fox out and that's kind of what we what we saw today when a red fox goes after an arctic fox the little arctic fox is always going to lose tough to look at but it is part of the story that's going on here in the Arctic. It's one of the things that I wanted to share with you from the Arctic Documentary Project uh, that we're doing up here in Churchill.